dudes and welcome back to the Bance. As always, I am your host, the Bance. And here we are once again on another Tuesday, another beginning of the week. So once again, as per usual, it is time for our first what's happening in fashion for the week. So let's just get right into it. And of course, first up, we have our headlines for the day. And for our first headline starting us off, let's talk about Palace's new fall winter 2018 lookbook. Now, I'm not going to go into this lookbook too deeply, mainly for two reasons. One, because there is just a shit ton of product here and two and more importantly I usually talk about the palace lookbooks every single time they show up just as I do with Supreme and a couple other brands for that matter and really just like Supreme there isn't a lot of huge changes in palace lookbooks but even with all of that said I think palace did a really nice job this season kind of bringing in a couple new ideas here and there, kind of mixing things up a little bit, and overall producing a very nice collection. As I've said before, the amount of apparel here is just insane, and the selection of pieces is very nice as well. It also seems like this time around they decided to add a couple more accessories, which I've always been asking for in their collections, and although it isn't a huge selection, it's still better than it was, so at the very least it seems like they're on the right track. And another one of my larger complaints from last season was the fact that even though they had as much variety as they did in pieces, there still was this kind of overlying monotone feel in their choice of colors and patterns and things like that, but it really looks like they did a fantastic job of mixing up all of that in this collection here. There's definitely a much wider variety of color as well as patterns, as well as all over prints, and even graphics as well, although I do have to say that most of the graphics in this collection unfortunately suck. But all in all, another really nice season and another really nice look book from Palace. And even if you are just the slightest fan of streetwear, definitely worth checking out. Some very nice pieces in here. Then in a rather surprising story, Montclair just announced that they have already boosted their sales almost 50% over the course of this year. So let's talk about some of the reasons why. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while now, you probably know that I've actually talked about Montclair a few different times on this channel for a couple of different reasons. The first of which being their more recent and collections which personally I think they have done a fantastic job styling and designing and the second and much more important reason and that is of course the genius collections but before we go back to that I do want to just quickly go back over that first reason I talked about really if you haven't been following Montclair over the last six months over the last year definitely go check out some of their lookbooks their online store they've done a absolutely fantastic job of releasing a huge variety of styles and silhouettes and designs in much more than just the red, white, and blue colorways they're known for. And even though I am sure of the fact that these did help boost their profits a little bit, of course we do have to talk about the elephants in the room, and that is, of course, the Genius Collections. With all the news and hype recently about all these luxury fashion houses, all these big name brands that have slowly been incorporating these streetwear marketing tactics, I think Montclair is the first to actually show how well some of these tactics actually work. Even if all these brands that are associated with the Genius program aren't streetwear related, it doesn't matter. Just the tactics alone, the collaborations of course, and also who can forget the drops that they've been doing. These tactics have just shown to Montclair how useful streetwear marketing really is. And for those of you who don't understand everything I just said, let me explain a little bit further. When it comes to the Genius program, Montclair decided to use what they consider the drop method. And what that means is that they're only releasing these products once a month, but monthly still. So you really only have one chance every month to 
get these products, which of course is just going to drive hype through the roof. And as far as the collaborations themselves go, when you have just as many different designers as they have, ranging everywhere from the less creative in designs by Fujiwara all the way up to somebody as avant-garde as Craig Green, I mean, then the sky is the limit when it comes to creativity, really. So of course, congrats to Montclair through all of this. And I just gotta say, it makes me really excited to see how other companies that are implementing these marketing strategies fare in the future as well. Okay, and with our headlines done, let's now move to our art stories for the day. And first up, Tang Wan Chang showed off some of his newest acrylic paintings and I just found these super interesting. Aside from, of course, the amazing use of color, just some of the textures he decided to paint into these paintings just feel so surreal and so different from what I've seen normally, and it's really just a fantastic new look of art. If this sounds interesting to you in the slightest, definitely check this out. Then Todd Shore sat down for a quick interview with High Fructose to show off some of his newest paintings from his newest book that is coming out very soon. So if you want to learn a little bit more about him or to see some of the fantastic work he's been working on, definitely give this a look. And lastly, Brown and Wayne Garrett showed off some of their newest sculptures, specifically this glitched out car here, and I absolutely love it. It's a very nice take on something we've all seen before, just not in the physical realm. So if this looks interesting to you and want to see a couple more of their works, then definitely check this out as well. All right, and now moving back into our fashion section for the day. First up, Billionaire Boys Club showed off their fall winter 2018 collection, and surprisingly, I actually thought it was pretty good. As we first take a look into this lookbook, we're greeted with this jacket here, which I absolutely love the paisley on it. I think it's a great pattern. I think they used it here nicely, and I love the colors chosen for it as well. And then as we move on a little bit further into the lookbook, we see our second dose of Paisley. And I mean, I'll give it up to them. Sometimes when you work with a pattern or an all over print, you want to use it more than once in just a different color way. So I can defend it here. And then as we go further into the lookbook, we have more Paisley. And well, maybe if we go further into the lookbook, we can find more Paisley. Well, I mean, this can't just be everything, right? Like, there can't just be more Paisley and more Paisley and more Paisley and... Oh god. Oh my fucking god. You know what? Scratch what I said about this lookbook. It's not good. It's fucking lazy. It's so, so fucking lazy. Which is really unfortunate for me to say because even outside of the Paisley, there are actually a handful, and I literally mean just a handful of pieces here, and some of them are actually decent. And even going back to the Paisley, because, I mean, how can you fucking avoid it? most of it is still pretty well done and if they really had cut back on about half the pieces here it would have been a really effective and excellent use in this collection but no leave it to billionaires boys club to beat an idea to death because i mean what else are they gonna do then uniform experiment showed off their fall winter 2018 lookbook and i think they did just a stellar job as they usually do for a brand that uses so many similar silhouettes over the course of all their collections, mixed with the few design ideas that they always seem to have, such as some very clean graphics and some very nice and sometimes philosophical wording, this brand has just done a fantastic job of keeping this style alive and refreshing at the same time. So of course with all that said, we do see some of the usual staples here. And once again, even for as many times as I've seen some of these cuts and some of these designs before, 
Still not tired of them. I think Uniform Experiment does a very good job with these pieces. But of course, the highlight of this collection, the very few hybrid pieces that Uniform Experiment always loves to hide in their lookbooks really outshine everything else here. I mean, of course, those slacks or chino joggers are really great, but by far the most fantastic piece here is that denim flannel reversible. I mean, how fucking cool is that? So as per usual, if you're a fan of Japanese style, somewhat on the streetwear end, but much more on the men's contemporary wear end, or maybe you're just a fan of men's contemporary in general, either way, definitely check out this collection, some absolutely gorgeous pieces in here. And of course, how could I mention Uniform Experiment without mentioning Softneth, which also just showed off their Fall Winter 2018 collection as well, and Although not the greatest thing I've ever seen from them, definitely a couple of diamonds in here as well. As far as softness goes, there's definitely a lot more toned down pieces in this collection than I pretty much ever expect from them. And although a lot of the pieces do have some very nice accents and hints of details here and there, it really doesn't make up for the fact that this collection still just feels a little bit drab overall. However, as I said before, there are a few fantastic pieces in this collection, most of which are actually pants, which is rather surprising. I do think a lot of the tech bands in this collection are just super well done, designed very well, and if you have been looking for some nice tech pants, then these will be right up your alley. And of course, how could I possibly forget mentioning their take on the western and or denim shirt here? Just super clean overall and just that little bit of detailing on the front on the buttons really makes for just a simple yet very extravagant piece all at the same time. So for those who once again love men's contemporary wear but also like a little bit more western influencing, a little bit more Americana as well in their looks then definitely check out this collection as well. And finally, let's get into our articles for the day. And first up, High Snobiety sat down with Ross Wilson, the man behind the Instagram account Supreme Copies, to talk a little bit about the brand, obviously Supreme, and a little bit about his new book as well. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about him, definitely check this out. Then Heddles released another in their long list of histories of, this time on the brand Engineer Garments. So if you always want to know a little bit more about the brand or a little bit more about fashion history, specifically Japanese fashion history in general, give this a read. And lastly, the Business of Fashion did a nice little overview slash quick interview with some of the people behind V-Files talking about not only the platform itself, but the opening of their newest fashion brand as well. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, then I definitely check this out as well. All right, guys, and with that, we come to the end of our first What's Happening in Fashion for the Week. I hope you guys have enjoyed. And as always, if you want to read any of the articles I talked about today or see some more images from lookbooks I wasn't able to include, I've linked everything in the description down below. And if you are new here, then welcome. We do these What's Happening in Fashion videos twice a week, usually on Monday or Tuesday and Friday or Saturday, plus another occasional video here or there. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or even just want to talk fashion at all, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I'm always willing to talk fashion. And thank you guys once again for watching these videos and supporting my content. I hope you all have a great week, and as always, until next time.